Hello Aries, welcome to a new week and a new tarot reading. How are you guys doing this week? We are going to be asking the question, will you guys ever get back together? So obviously this is a reading for somebody who's wondering, I wonder if I'll ever get back together with my ex-person. So let's check that out. Let's see how this goes. We are um, also going to be doing an extended reading to this reading as well. So if this reading resonates with you, you can go check it out in the description box below. I've got a card out already. Um, it depends what... The extended reading is going to depend on what comes out in this reading. So if the signs show that, yes, you can get back together with this person, we're going to go and look there and see what happens after the fact. But if it shows like, no, no, guys, run for the hills. You're not going to get back together with this person. We want to see who else can be coming in for you. But let us get started in the reading. The first two cards that I've taken out is um, your person's energy and your energy in current energetic time. So let's have a look and see what's vibing here. I did actually see this card flip and I knew it was the sun card. This is in your person's energy. So whatever is happening right now with your person, they okay, they're feeling good. Um, I feel like they got some kind of like realization. Sorry guys, my throat's a little bit croaky this morning. Um, I feel like they got some kind of understanding and thoughts that are going through them that is kind of like enlightening their energy. They are viewing things perhaps from a very, very different perspective right now. I want to see what's going on with your energy. That's a positive one. You feeling very scared. You like, oh, I don't know about that. Where they are actually kind of open, if you actually look at that card, it looks like a very open card. It looks like I'm open. Your ex-person by the way i'm just saying might be wanting to get back together with you and it is you that might be going i don't know if i'm doing the right thing here i don't know if i'm ready to open up to this person after all that they've done to me kind of like vibing i feel like in the past energy um so i'm not sure if this is actually what you want but i feel like it is what they want it's actually them that might want to get back together with you so let's have a look and see what caused the breakup? Holy moly, yes, I have to go there. What caused this breakup, spirit guides? I wonder. What caused the breakup for my Aries with their person? Okay, let's have a look and see. Procrastination. Yeah, we come again. <laughs> um, them not making a decision. It does say there decisions and dreams but what you need to know about this energy this is the seven of cups energy so this person was not serious at the time that they were with you and uh, i'm just going to put this one out there they had options okay they were not serious with you because they had options it wasn't just you in the mix okay um it may not have been like full-blown relationships or anything that they were involved in the issue being is there was they were looking at other options okay they had other people around them that they could have been talking to or sharing time with so they felt like they didn't want to commit to one person because why must I commit to one person when there's so many people out there? What if I can get something better than what I have now? That's the kind of vibe that I'm picking up coming from that. It says they daydreams. You said they could have been thinking about other people and they were not yet making any decisions because they felt like they hadn't decided to be with you yet because they were still making decisions about other people as well. Wow. I'm just saying, like, wow. Let's go a bit deeper there and see what else we can see with regards to what actually happened. Let's go deeper, Spirit Guides. Give us two cards that kind of like show us what was going on. I wonder what's going to come up here. Because you got a bachelor. That's why. That's your bachelor. And you, on the other hand, were not in bachelor energy. You were in I'm doing the right thing energy. You see, you wanted to do what was right. You were going, I want to be with this person. I'm doing the right thing. And you got pentacles on both sides here now. So it shows you, you gave a lot of yourself in the energy. You wanted to do the right thing. You actually may have thought that this connection was going to go somewhere to a place where it was a committed relationship, where you had a long-term situation with a person that viewed you like their person. But you were dealing with a person that's my favorite card. No, it's not. <laughs> Everybody knows. They, they even comment in the comments below, oh, that Knight of Wands. And I'm like, yeah, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands in a relationship. It's an amazing energy, by the way. Knight of Wands, wow. What an amazing energy. Really energetic people. Um, fire sign energy can be as well. Um, 
really outgoing, can laugh and talk, can be good, good looking, um, you know, got that really good vibe of a person. But when it comes to relationships, especially because of this energy that we're reading about here and because of what they cause to come up in you, which is the Four of Pentacles, which is you actually not needing, you need to open up, but maybe not always to everybody. Because, you know, opening up, it's a good thing, but not to the wolf, you know what I'm saying? You don't open up the door to the wolf, you, you padlock the door, which is then a good thing to have. Um, the Knight of Wands energy can sometimes be the eternal bachelor or bachelorette energy. It's also the person that sometimes doesn't take commitment very seriously. They're kind of like, huh, it's what, you know, it's just the thing to them, you know what I mean? They can sometimes be the players. I don't feel like they're the full player energy because it's not in the reverse position, but they kind of lack with commitment. Let me tell you that. Sometimes this person as well, they can actually have commitment issues. So they never, they feel like they're not finding the right person, not because they're not finding the right person, but because they kind of like use it as an excuse not to get into a committed relationship. I'm just saying, let me move the cards a little bit down. I think I've got more than enough space to do so. So let's have a look and see. They were There was what your real problem was. Let's see how they feel about you right now. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how they feel about you right now. Okay, what's under there? <laughs> well, yeah, this person wants to try come back in. Uh, that's what I've got to tell you. They do want to try come back in. Uh, they want a new beginning with you because that's your release energy. Um, they want to open up to you. This is the thing. I've noticed this twice now. Both of these cards have this kind of like chest area where it opens up. Your person is, if they haven't already come back to you, for some of you guys, this person has already contacted you. Um, because that is the death energy in the tarot that is your major arcana the death energy that has come up here that is a wanting to restart something they can be maybe speaking to you and saying to you i really love you i miss you opening up their soul to you almost a kind of energy coming through there um they want to restart the connection they want to rebirth the situation okay um they feel like uh they made a mistake i think by leaving you in the past uh, they feel like it was quite a big mistake. I can tell you that right now. This is them wanting to come back in and renew this entire connection with you. For some of you guys, I feel like they've already contacted you and it's you that's going, and now what do I do? Spirit guides, we're going to ask this question now. What are the chances of this actually happening? What are the chances of this happening? Let's have a look and see. Ouch. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position. I've noticed something. You, your energy, you are focused on one thing and that is commitment. If you get into a relationship now, you don't want to play. Oh, you're not ready to play. You're ready for what? The real thing. You like, you know, I even feel like you're going, you know, if I don't find the real thing, then I better just not even date or do anything anymore because I feel like you're tired. You're just like, I want the real thing. If it's not the real thing, then I don't know then I just, I feel like I'm, you're not going to move forward with anything. To have the nine of pentacles in the reverse position for the, the chances of this working. Um, this is not always the best energy to come through because the nine of pentacles energy can indicate a little bit of insecurity. It can also indicate somebody who... Um, Gets involved with people. It's not always the right thing to be doing. I don't know if it's coming from your side or their side. It's like you get involved with the wrong people sometimes and it's not always the right thing that you should be doing. Um, it can indicate that this actually moving forward would not be the best of things to do because it may be the wrong thing to actually do to get back into a connection with a person that is like literally... Um, showing you that they this eternal bachelor. By the way, these people are extremely charming and that's why we fall for them head over heels like that they can just give you that one look and your heart just goes pitter patter pitter patter you know what i mean and they they have that with them you know a lot of people who have that energy or even the the actors and the performers the musicians you know they got that thing um the thing is uh with that energy because it's very creative people as well uh they sometimes have don't have the stability behind it and that's what i'm feeling yeah i feel like if it does the chances of it being stable Stable here is going to become a problem you see the stability is still not there because for me this looks like I was talking about foundation somewhere along the line I think and uh, this looks like was I talking about it with you 
maybe I can't remember I was talking about foundations I think in one of my readings somewhere along the line and um, this is like that foundation needs to be very strong it's in the reverse position so it's like you didn't <clears throat> give it a chance to dry properly <clears throat> Oh my God, goodness, guys, sorry about my throat going so funny. It's been like this since I woke up this morning. Luckily, no sore throat or anything. Just, I think it's springtime by us in South Africa and there's pollen flying everywhere and it irritates me. Look at this. Your spirit guide advice is work hard. I've noticed everything to do with Curious Pentacles all the way. And that's telling me one thing very straightforward. It's kind of like saying, you know, um, your energy, your focus has to be on security right now. It cannot be on um, too much on heart matters um, because the heart matter that you should be focusing on is when somebody comes in and they're also focusing on security as well. Then you activate your heart. Then you work with this person. You need to be focusing on long-term relationships right now. People who are coming in and kind of like offering like one night stands and meeting in clubs and it's crazy crazy vibes that really needs to be left behind the the kind of energy that needs to come in is both people coming in and they say you know i'm really serious i want to look to the future i want to have marriage in my future do you want the same yes i do okay let's get to know each other that's the seriousness that you need right now coming in for you guys let us look at your journey let us look into the sacred traveler over here and see just what spirit guides would like to show us with regards to especially this person and you moving forward as well so your extended reading i don't feel like it's going to be associated with this person if you want to see what is coming in for you with regards to another person's energy you can go check that out there's a link in the description box below but let's see what cards they want us to see here you oh lordy Okay, you've been redirected, that's for sure. Um, your path has definitely been redirected. Um, right now, you're at a dead end with this relationship. It's hit a brick wall. It says redirect, reflect, think about what has happened, redirect your energy. So you are definitely being moved into another direction. Into There's someone else, by the way, I'm just saying, coming into your life. Let me move the cards nice so they make a little thing. Um fellow travelers support is all around you on your journey by the way spirit guide is walking with you because of this that always indicates that your spirit guide is guiding you somewhere you don't know where you're going but they know <laughs> okay um you're gonna meet someone else along the way here there is someone else um on your journey in life literally that is going to be thinking the same way that you're thinking hallelujah exactly what i was just saying about the eight of pentacles energy um because this does indicate um somebody on the same road as you so it's not like you're meeting you know crossing and in, in, in going in different directions you know what i mean this person's got the same thoughts as you they on the same road as you and they want the same thing as you their destination is the same destination that you have got because if you look at this let me show you if i can speak properly if you look at the road that is going over there the rainbow is coming off at the end of the road and this traveler is reaching their goal which is the rainbow you got a fellow traveler that wants the same goal as you that is coming in in the future you have been redirected because you need to meet someone else wow so there we go aries if you want to check out that person's energy in the future go to the extended there's a link in the description box below if you so wish to do so otherwise guys thank you so much for watching the reading you are definitely being moved from your path and moved into a place that you are meant to be moved into just, I'd say just release that energy and see what comes in in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.